Then my tundra from the far right, you can pretty much see that we got some fog. They got a foggy window. You can definitely see it there. When we turn on the wiper blade, it starts to go away a little bit. Still foggy right there, most definitely. Throw some washing fluid on it. Still foggy. It's like a dirty windshield, but it's 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 fog. I got this anti-fog stuff, this Rain-X anti-fog stuff that I sprayed on the inside and outside. And it says interior glass. It didn't do anything. And you can kind of see, I kind of back out a little bit. So it's foggy right here, but it's clear right here. I just got the AC on, you know, it's circulating inside. I did have the outside windshield thing on to kind of clear it up. That didn't work, so I turned the AC off and just blew air from outside the vehicle to inside and let it circulate. That didn't do anything. So I just completely turned the fan off. Drove no windows with windows up. That didn't do anything. Drove windows down. That didn't do anything. So I'm just like, what the heck? You know, I'm, I'm thinking that this Rain-X stuff has some sort of alcohol to it. It should clean, you know, clean up some dirt, you know, whatever. But nope. It becomes a absolute nightmare when you have light shining towards you from a vehicle because then this whole fog just glares up and you can't see. Just look at that. You know, I can't see like that. But yeah, I'm gonna get me something to drink and then I'm gonna just, just go. Just go home. See, look at that. Horrible, man. Absolutely horrible. This whole dag on one shield. It's crazy. Uh, it appears to be clearing up some with traveling. Let's say a clogged up cabin air filter can pretty much cause issues with the heating and cooling system, which filtration of the system. Windows fogging up because it's not getting a proper airflow. This, that, and the third. Anti-fog is not preventing the windows from fogging, but it is slowing it down. So let's get that straight forward. I'll be with you guys tomorrow because it is late, as you can see, and I am tired. So peace. Our Ram interior air cabin filter. Open up our door here. Pull up this puppy here. miles I honestly believe that this is the cabin air filter let's take her out yeah, just look at that it was raining a little bit not as much as yesterday as you can see right now our windows are still clear uh, AC is on and still circulating inside the truck um, outside temps is 88 degrees inside we got the ac on 67 so so far it's looking good it's looking good all right we definitely got some rain now guys and we still have good vision good vision windshield is not fogging right now it's still pretty good now what i'm gonna do is try taking the circulating the air from inside off and see if that makes any difference since we changed our cabin air filter pretty much that dirty cabin air filter was the root of cause so i definitely say that for my issue it's resolved so if you guys are having any issues with your car suv or truck where it's continuing to f the windows being fogged up i highly recommend that you guys uh you know try replacing your cabin air filter um and also, you know, try, uh, you know, try pulling the air from outside the vehicle, inside your vehicle, instead of circulating the air from inside. So try, try those two things out and see what happens, you know. All right, guys, I am signing out. Peace. Look. Hauling butt. All the butt.
thinking that he's invisible. Just because he got a little SUV. I'll tell you, man, it's reckless. It's absolutely reckless. People just drive crazy. Why y'all got stop on a dime? So, this is crazy, golly, and I, uh, I actually love the rain, I actually love the rain, but uh, yeah, this is crazy, got my hazards on and all. I kind of wanted to run through some things to kind of make sure that it's clear for you guys, okay? So let's run through some options. If your windshield is fog the first thing that you do is you turn on your defroster all right so that turns on the defroster and then the front windshield will start to default or defrost whichever requirement is needed right, let's turn that off here's another tip that actually will help especially during the winter time climate control options it's typically best to actually circulate the heat from outside in and not just circulation inside Right now, if I click on this button, it'll go green. This button represents that the air inside this vehicle is circulating within itself. My heater core is basically producing the heat, the air, and it's just circulating within its own system of the vehicle. When I press this button again, the green light goes away. So now that's telling me that basically my heater system or you know my ventilation system is basically venting the cool air from well the outside air to inside my vehicle catch what i'm saying i had to shorten the last video had some things that come up that i had to address but basically i just want to summarize two things that helped me one number one thing is turn on the windshield defrost did help defrog my window number two Changing my cabin air filter also helped dramatically. It resolved the issue. Changing my cabin air filter completely resolved the issue. When I had the defroster on, it defrosted, it did its job, but when I turned it off, my windows got foggy again. Now, replaced the cabin air filter, came back outside, drove my vehicle, and it was raining this time. My windshield was nice and clean. Absolutely nice and clean. Crystal clear. No fog. I would definitely recommend to you guys, as, as crazy as it sounds, when you are experiencing this issue when your window just constantly fogs up, change your cabin air filter. Change it. I actually still have the problem with the windshield being foggy, but in my car. <laughs> so you know what's next. I'm definitely going to change the cabin air filter in my car. I'm going to do that next. I may do a video. I may not. We'll see. We'll see. Two things I recommend you guys do while you're traveling, turn on your windshield defrost. And then two, when you get some time, buy a new cabin air filter, replace it, and then see, you know, see what results you get. That's what I highly recommend. But anyway, guys, on that note, I got to go, baby. Drop a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or if you have anything that actually worked for you. What did you do to resolve the issue? I would love to hear that too. On that note, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber. And shout out to my day one subscribers. Shout out to my new subscribers, man. I love y'all. Peace.